to ask your advice for decision making. How rational should we be? And exactly in how the consequences of our actions. And for instance, when we need to make important decisions in our life, like uh, between work-life balance, how much weight or how much importance should we give to our career or financial stability incomes with, and in comparison to a family, for instance? So if you could give us some advice and also if you have written or if you could recommend us one of your books on this topic. If I have understood, then the question is asking about the role of rationality in decision making. Is that so? Right. And then there was an add-on. We'll take that later on. How important is it to be rational while making decisions? There is no other way. I'm assuming that when you say that we need to be rational, you are emphasizing the role of discretion over instinct, reason over emotion. Hmm? Is that what we broadly mean by rationality? Right? Reason over emotion and discretion over instinct. There is no other way to decide. One has to be not quite rational, but completely rational. Let the intellect go all the distance. Let the mind exercise itself to its fullest potential when you are deciding. Let no decision come from the blind wave and the primitive momentum of physical and mental tendencies, intuitions, instincts, etc. It's just that the reasonability has to be honest. And if one is honest, honestly intellectual, then the intellect will come to see its own limits. Exercise your intellect, your reasoning capability, your analytical capability fully. And when you apply these fully, then the very application of the mind brings the mind to its own boundary. And that is what brings some humility into us. And that is what leaves the space open for a higher kind of decision making in which the mind has done everything that the mind can. Now the mind has nothing more to offer. And after that, if a decision comes from somewhere else, then there is nobody left to contest that decision. You see, only two possibilities are there. One, one applies the intellect and the decision is to be taken very much within the zone of the intellect. Hmm? Is x greater than y? You do not need to transcend your intellect to decide on such a thing. Right? You need no mystical powers or spiritual insight to solve an equation in mathematics or a question that just involves material factors. So that would be one kind of mistake where that which needs to be addressed purely materially is addressed by way of intuition or emotion. And we often make that mistake. If one is designing a machine or a flyover or anything material, then why should there be 
a role for anything other than reason in the entire process. The whole thing has to be utterly and absolutely reasonable. Anything else that comes into the decision making process will only dilute it and corrupt it. And on the other hand, there are matters that involve stuff that is not quite material. For example, contentment. Now, contentment is not something three dimensional. Contentment is not something that you can assign a color or weight or situate in a place or know by its material properties. Therefore, when it comes to contentment, then reason has to be transcended. Transcended, not avoided. There is a difference between transcending reason and keeping reason aside. Transcending reason implies using reason to its fullest capacity only to see that in certain matters in life, reason does not suffice. Matters like contentment, I said, matters like joy, matters like love, Matters like rightness. But even in these matters, you have to be first of all as reasonable as you can. Which means you must know the facts of the case. You must know how one thing relates to the other. And after all that was possible to be done intellectually has been done, then you let the decision come from a place probably beyond the mind or the intellect. Hmm? But in any kind of decision making, first of all, my submission is that the mind has to be respected and the respect to the mind connotes nothing other than complete utilization of the mind. Hmm?